Dear New Crescent Society, I need your help. When exactly will Ramadan begin? Can you give me a clear answer, please? Different people are giving me different dates. I'm so confused. Assalamu alaikum. Many of you are asking this question, when will Ramadan begin? And it's a very good question. Unfortunately, we found ourselves in the same situation again, where people within the same country or in the same city will be observing Ramadan on different dates. So what's going on? Let's quickly recap a few facts about the Islamic calendar. Islamic months begin when the new crescent moon is sighted. Of course, the moon, just like the sun, cannot be seen from all places of the earth at the same time. For example, it may be the case that on a single day, the new crescent moon is visible in Saudi Arabia, but not visible in the UK, and vice versa. Therefore, it's quite natural that different regions around the world will start their months on different dates. And traditionally, this has always been the case. So what happens when people in one region decide to follow the lunar visibility of a totally different region? Well, this is what we have in the UK. We have those who sight the local moon, and we have those who follow the Saudi moon. And this is the key reason why we often have split dates for the start of Ramadan and Eid. But there are other issues that come with following Saudi Arabia. For example, last Eid there was a major controversy where Saudi Arabia declared that they had seen the moon but astronomers said that this was scientifically impossible. And in fact, that's happened many times before. This Ramadan, again, there is a controversy centred around Saudi's calendar system called the Umm al Qura calendar. And this is what we will explore in this video. So, what is the Umm al Qura calendar? There are six things that you need to know about the Umm al Qura calendar. 1. The Umm al Qura calendar is the name given to Saudi Arabia's official calendar, which is used for the administrative and civic purposes. 2. The Umm al Qura calendar is calculated based on a formula. This means that the calendar can be printed many years in advance, which is helpful for Saudi Arabia for planning and administration purposes. 3. Importantly, this formula used by the Umm al Qura calendar is not based on the visibility of the moon in Saudi Arabia. 4. The consequences of this is clearly acknowledged on the Umm al Qura official website, which states The Umm al Qura calendar is both the formal and civil calendar of the kingdom, but it may not match the actual visibility of the crescent. 5. In fact, the formula the Umm al Qura calendar currently uses will result in months which, for most cases, start a day earlier than the moon is actually visible in Saudi Arabia. 6. In practice, the Umm al Qura calendar is only used in Saudi Arabia for 8 months of the year. For the remaining 4 months, they switch from the Umm al Qura calendar and begin months based on local moon sighting reports instead. These 4 months are Ramadan, Shawwal, Dhul Hijjah and Muharram. This is because Saudi Arabia considers these months as holy and believe that the holy months must start with a physical moon sighting. So how does this impact when Ramadan begins? The implications of this mixed calendar system on Ramadan are massive. Let me explain. So the month before Ramadan is called Sha'ban. And of course, the 29th of Sha'ban is a very special day. On this day, Muslims from around the world gather at spaces just like this to search for the Ramadan moon. Sha'ban this year, as it does every year, began according to the Umm al Qura calculation. But remember, the pre-calculated months often begin a day before the moon is actually visible. And this was the case for Sha'ban this year. So in effect, every date of Sha'ban in Saudi Arabia this year was a day earlier than Sha'ban based on lunar visibility. So, by the time we come to the 29th of Sha'ban according to the Umm al Qura calendar, it will be the 28th of Sha'ban according to lunar visibility. Those who do moon sighting all year round say, look, you're doing the Ramadan moon sighting on the wrong date. You started Sha'ban a day early, so your sighting is a day early. You're not sighting on the 29th, you're sighting on the 28th, which is totally wrong. Looking for the moon on the wrong day is a huge issue with mixed calendars, which of course will have ramifications for the declared start date of Ramadan. Nevertheless, Saudi Arabia will go out to look for the moon on the 29th of Sha'ban, which according to the Umm al Qura calendar, will be on Saturday the 4th of May. Of course, as they are looking a day early, this will be far too early to sight the moon. Astronomical data available to us confirms this and shows that the moon will be below the horizon in Saudi Arabia on the evening of the 4th of May, represented by the red zone in this map. Therefore, Saudi Arabia will not see the moon on the 4th of May and complete 30 days for Sha'ban, 
as Muslims normally do when they can't see the moon on the 29th. This explains why they will begin fasting for Ramadan on Monday the 6th of May. And so, those people in the UK following Saudi Arabia will also start fasting for Ramadan on the 6th of May. Now you might be wondering, if hypothetically Saudi Arabia operated a lunar visibility based calendar all year round, when would Ramadan have begun? Well, they would have started Sha'ban a day later and would have gone out to sight the moon a day later. And even a day later, the moon is not visible to the naked eye in Saudi Arabia. You couldn't even really see it if you had a powerful telescope. This means they would have started Ramadan on the 7th of May. Saudi Arabia starting Ramadan on the 6th of May means that this year they are starting Ramadan one day earlier than lunar visibility in Saudi Arabia. So, even though Saudi Arabia are producing moon sighting reports, they're going out to look for the moon for Ramadan, the beginning date of Ramadan won't even correspond to the visibility of the moon in their country. What about local moon sighters in the UK? For local moon sighters in the UK, things are a lot more straightforward. They commence Sha'ban according to local lunar visibility and will also commence Ramadan according to local lunar visibility. They will go out to look for the moon on Sunday the 5th of May, but they won't see it. In fact, the moon will not be visible anywhere in the UK or in our neighbouring countries of Western Europe, Morocco or North Africa. Thus, local moon sighters will complete 30 days for Sha'ban and begin fasting for Ramadan on Tuesday the 7th of May. Remember, from the perspective of local moon sighters here in the UK, even if Saudi Arabia were producing verifiable moon sighting reports all year round, they argue that it's irrelevant because Saudi Arabia are in a distant location, they're in a different region and their moon sighting reports in Saudi Arabia may or may not match ours on any given day here in the UK. To summarise, those who follow local sightings will begin fasting on Tuesday the 7th of May. And those to follow Saudi Arabia will begin fasting on Monday the 6th of May. Alright guys, thanks so much. If you've got any questions, put them in the comments. And whenever you're celebrating Ramadan Mubarak, recently here in Greenwich, Imams, community leaders, mosque committee members all got together and had a conversation about how we could move forward and unify on the Islamic calendar here in the UK. One of the things that came out of that was we cannot continue relying on word from abroad if we want unity. We need to instead rely on ourselves and in fact we need to rely on you. This Eid we have the opportunity to see the moon on Tuesday the 4th of June. That will be the 29th of Ramadan according to local sighting. So you've got this incredible opportunity to revive this sunnah, revive this tradition of moon sighting here in the UK. And this is how to do it. Watch our simple one minute video to learn how to sight the moon in three simple steps. Take some friends and family, take some iftar and go out and see the moon. And once you've seen the moon, contact us and tell us how it went. Happy moon sighting.